How well do you think the Girl Swim and Dive team is going to do at conference this year? Um, well, we've all been practicing really hard, so we're going to do really good. Um, I think we've been doing pretty good because we have all have been really close this year. We've all been working really hard at practice, and it's just transferred into the meets. Uh, I think we're going to have a great conference meet because the girls have been working really hard. They've been doing a lot of, uh, a lot of good hours in the pool and the weight room. Uh, so going into the meet, we know um, that you know we have a chance to be you know one of the top two teams. This is our year. Say it. This is our year. This is our year. This is our year. Um, these next couple of years, we're going to be able to do pretty good at conference with all the underclassmen that we have. Um, a lot of them come from USA Swimming, they're pretty solid. I mean, it's a small team, but um, we, uh, we got a lot of fast guys coming in, a lot of fast, a lot of fast freshmen. I think we're going, to be, we're going to be looking pretty good this year. Yeah, I think we're looking to win another OK Red Championship. It's a great privilege to be part of. Uh, it's a really fast team. I think having as many underclassmen as we do is going to help us in the long run. Like at conference these next couple of years, we're going to do pretty good. And um, hopefully, we'll be able to get top four in the state these next couple of years. With a little peace and some harmony. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Woe. We have a homecoming theme show today. We'll be covering everything homecoming that you need to know. Happy Way Back Wednesday. Seniors, pay careful attention to the following. Senior pictures are now due next, October, ac next Friday, October 9. Turn them into Mr. Drenick. To add to that, your senior fee is due ASAP if you have not already turned it in. This fee covers your senior t-shirt, so if you do not turn it in ASAP, you will not have a t-shirt Friday. It is $25. Make sure to get that in. Holland Area College Night is this week with representatives available for over 70 colleges. It's at Hope College DeVos Fieldhouse from 6.30 to 8 this Thursday. The West Ottawan is now available for your reading pleasure online. No longer do you have to wait for your printed issue monthly. You can find it online at thewestottawan.com. It's Word at Will Wednesday and we have a video for you. SWBNers, what event they're looking forward to the most this year? The event that I'm looking forward to the most is probably spring break. Graduation. What I'm looking forward to most this year is the musical Cinderella. Either graduation or beach week. I'm most excited for the homecoming of them. Homecoming, homecoming game. game. Graduation. Pep assemblies and the spirit week. Uh, this year I am most looking forward to the West Ottawa Hockey Purple Out game. There you have it, Will. What event are you looking forward to the most this year? Tweet at us at WOVN online to let us know. The West Ottawa Gay Straight Alliance wants you to know that September 28th through October 2nd is Ally Week. Ally Week is a week during which students encourage more people at, to become allies against bullying and harassment in our schools. What can you do to be an ally? Stand up and make a statement. Make a new friend. Use the hashtag Ally Week. Be an ally and bring a friend to the GSA meeting this Thursday in room 602 after school. Austin and Jared made us a video on the new vending machines in both the North and South buildings. This year, WO got new vending machines. However, there are a lot of people that are confused on how to use them. I really don't like these new vending machines. I tried to use one and uh, told me to get a pin number. I don't know how to do that. I think the vending machines are a cool idea, but I'm confused as to how to use them. So I want to use my pin and to get money 
to buy chips and I tried putting my number and I had to call another number to get another pin to use it and it just made me even more mad. The vending machines at school are really frustrating. Alright, well, we've heard all your frustrations with the vending machine. However, they're very easy to use, you just have to follow these simple steps. The first thing that you need to do is to call and get your pin. After that, go up to the vending machine and hit pound to enter your student ID. After you enter your student ID, it's going to ask you to enter a pin. Then enter the pin that West Ottawa gave you. All you need to do after that is to get your food and enjoy. Drama Club starts today. Here's some more info about it. G O D R A M A C L U B Exclamation point! I'm Jake, I'm Matt, and I'm Mitch, and, and we're your Drama Club Officers for 2K15, 2K16. Drama Club is a super fun place to be yourself, play games, and connect with others who have the same interests as you and learn about different things. Sarah, as a recurring Drama Club member this year, what are you looking forward to most um, in this upcoming season? I'm really excited to see a lot of people come out of their bubble. You know, I'm, I'm excited for them to be more confident about themselves. Well, there you have it, you guys. The first Drama Club meeting is today in the South Fire Room, Miss Pearson's room. It should be a lot of fun, so come on down and join us. The following colleges will be here the week of September 28th. If you are interested in meeting with the, any of the college representatives, please sign up with Mrs. Vanderbrand at the North Reception Desk. Wednesday, September 30th is Wayne State University, Spring Arbor University, and Hillsdale College. Thursday, October 1st is Purdue University, DePaul University, and University of Alabama. Tomorrow is style dressing day. Seniors will dress up as ranch, meaning western clothing. Juniors will be Thousand Islands, so dress up Hawaiian. Sophomores will be blue cheese, dress blue or cheesy. And freshmen will be healthy honey mustard, wear athletic clothing. The homecoming game against Granville will be Friday night at 7 at the varsity football field. The theme is white out, so dress in all white and come out to support your Panthers. The homecoming dance is this Saturday from 8 to 11. Tickets are on sale during both lunches through Friday. They will not be available at the door. Make sure to buy your corsages and boutonnieres from Lakewood Floral, mention West Ottawa Jungle, and a, par and a part of your proceeds will go towards jungle. Have a great homecoming week, Will. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Well, I'm Austin. And I'm Caroline. We have a great show for you today, so stay tuned. Follow the new Wozone account at underscore Wozone. This will show any weekly deals we have. Also, with the new merchandise that is available, who knows when there might be random prizes given out. <laughs> there will be a prom committee meeting in Ms. Bullheis's room on January 20 from 3 to 4. Make sure to be there if you are participating. The 2016 La Oop Hispanic Youth Leadership Conference is almost here. It will be held on February 16. 2016 at the DeVos Field House with your guest speaker, Mr. Calvin Terrell. If you are interested in attending this outstanding event, please pick up an application at the North Building Receptionist Desk or with Mr. Perez and at the South Building Main Office. Both the paper application and an online application must be completed. Start your new year right. 
Dance for the Kids. Registration for Dance Marathon is open, and now is the time to join us as we raise money for Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. So make a resolution to Dance for the Kids on Friday, March 4, by signing up at wodancemarathon.tk. If you have any questions, contact Mr. Taylor. Are you an Asian and Pacific Islander or an Asian and Pacific American? You are invited to share your story and be professionally photographed at one of the several free story collection events at Herrick Public Library this month. Maybe a member of your family would be interested in participating. Trained facilitators will be present to help you through the process and you'll receive a copy of your recorded story and photograph. The stories will be displayed at a free exhibition and will be permanently available to the community at the library. For more information to sign up, go to herrickdl.org. Attention skiers and snowboarders, please sign up for the weekly ski trip starting on Monday and running through Thursday at 11 o'clock. The first 15 to sign up will be guaranteed a spot on the bus. An announcement will be made by the end of the day on Thursday to share the weekly trip status. The cost of the bus is $10 per week. You can still order a discount ski card through the end of February. Think snow. There is a new exciting opportunity to host a student from Germany. We are going to have 12 students from Germany vis visit West Otto in May 2016. The exact dates are May 9 to 24. If you are interested in hosting, please contact Mrs. Sutter in room 214 in the South Building. Her email address is sutterz at westottawa.net. Row Renaissance's exam cram is back. Come to the North Library on January 18th from 5 to 7 to study for your exams. NHS members and teachers will be there to help you study. Pizza and Pop will be available. Come before 520 to place your food order. Pizza and Pop are each a dollar. See our flyers posted around the school for more info. Seniors, it is time to fill out your free application for federal student aid, the FAFSA. This super important form is how you apply for federal and state money to cover the cost of college. It is due by March 1st, but money is given out on first come, first serve basis. So fill it out ASAP. See Mrs. Van Orstall with any questions. Robotics kickoff is January 9. We're hitting it hard this week during the first week of our six week build phase. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, there will be a meeting each day at 3 to 8 p.m. There will also be a meeting on Saturday, January 16, from three, 9 to 3. The meetings take place at South 612. Hope to see you there. Let's take a look at what the swim team is up to. You ready? Let's go! Um, these next couple years, we're going to be able to do pretty good at conference with all the underclassmen that we have. A lot of them come from USA Swimming, they're pretty solid. I mean, it's a small team, but um, we, uh, we got a lot of fast guys coming in, a lot of fast, a lot of fast freshmen. I think we're going to be really looking pretty good this year. Yeah, I think we're looking to win another OK Red Championship. It's a great privilege to be part of uh, it's a really fast team. I think having as many underclassmen as we do, is going to help us in the long run. Like at conference these next couple of years, we're going to do pretty good. And um, hopefully, we'll be able to get top four in the state these next couple of years. Have a great day, West Ottawa. See you tomorrow. some students what they're looking forward to in the new year. For 2016, I'm excited for State's Honors Choir. I'm excited to go to Florida for spring break. I am excited to play the new Pokemon game. For 2016, I'm excited to start my senior year. I'm excited to go bowling and to live. I'm excited for new opportunities. I'm excited to do my swimming in the new year. I can't wait for my baby brother to be a boy. I'm excited to be a senior next year. For 2016, I'm excited for softball season. There you have it, Will. What are you looking forward to in the new year? Tweet at us at WVN Online to let us know. That's WVN.
listeners, what event they're looking forward to the most this year? The event that I'm looking forward to the most is probably spring break. Graduation. What I'm looking forward to most this year is the musical Cinderella. Either graduation or beach week. I'm most excited for the homecoming this Oh, Homecoming game. Graduation. Pep assemblies and spirit week. Uh, this year, I am most looking forward to the West Ottawa Hockey Purple Out game. There you have it, Will. What event are you looking forward to the most this year? Tweet at us at WOVN online to let us know.